hi guys if you're african and you live in the uk this video is very important for you to watch because it is a result of policy formulations that is now showing its impact because let's be pretty much fair in the uk racism is not that loudly spoken of or it's not really much shown when you go into shops they're always smiling ah, hi happy that's a fake smile and you know so it's something that needs a lot of policy mishaps for someone to really show the racist side in the uk but this video that was shared on the 4th of uh, july just a few days ago on bbc whilst the election was going on is very very concerning so i want you to watch this if you're, if you're an african please can you just pay a minute watch this and tell me what you think in the comment section below let's watch it come to thursday evening on bbc newsline we are live for the next half hour this program has been told eight families have now been intimidated out of their homes in a part of Antrim town. They have been subjected to weeks of escalating racist attacks and intimidation. Posters like this have appeared. The PSNI is describing it as a spate of hate crimes. Now, already this week, we reported on how houses in a new mixed development in the town were daubed with red, white, and blue paint. Windows were broken there. And tonight, we can reveal this CCTV car being vandalized, a window broken. Ita Dungan now reports on the fears of those who are confronted with all this. Marked out and put out. Families from Africa living in this part of Antrim have faced escalating intimidation over the last six weeks. We've been told eight families have moved out. Many worked in the health service. For Miriam, not her real name, moving was not a choice. Does it mean that we are going to die just because we're on work visa? Do you feel like you could die? Exactly. Nothing has been uh, done. We are we going to die because... Um, in this place, we, we don't know how they are going to escalate from what they've done. And they are continuing to write some posters and to, to put more threats on us. So you, you can just die in this place. Maybe they will take action when someone is dead. Having lived in the house for more than a year, everything changed for Miriam, her husband and two children at the end of May. It was then that the first anti-immigrant posters went up on lampposts in the area. After that, the attacks became more targeted, individual homes spray painted, then the addition of racist posters, gaffer tape to the window, and it's not racist to look after your own. <laughs> kind of true though. It's not racist to look after your own. Yeah. Oh, I had to agree. Then it ratcheted up more. Of the CCTV, I got notification on my phone that someone is on the car, so I immediately got up and looked at the car to see what did that person do because I thought maybe he came with a bomb. He put a bomb in the car. So when I went out, that's when I saw that the windows are broken. We called police. Police was here. Uh, they tried to reassure us, but I was so devastated. Imagine all these people came all the way from Africa. Yes, they're trying to make a living, but possibly the man who did this has a mother that is taken care of by this lady here how do you live with yourself doing such a thing i don't know, I don't know. it's just sad you know i felt helpless i felt as if i'm a prisoner for miriam's husband andrew trying to reassure his family everything was okay was getting harder and harder now i run out of option because the moment i i keep on encouraging them to be strong they say look it started in this level one now level two now level three, so we don't know what's the next level. And what about the children? That's difficult for, for the children. The children now, even to send them to go and buy something, they fear for their lives. They may, they, they now need to want it to be accompanied by a, by a parent, of which in a democratic society wouldn't expect that to, to. In a democratic society, you wouldn't expect that to happen. Is, is, is that true? As an African, being fairly honest with you, is it true that when you leave your country, these are Zimbabwean, you can tell with the accent. Is it true that if you're leaving your country in Africa and you're coming in the UK, you don't expect some bit of racism, even a tiny, tiny little bit. You don't expect a tiny little bit of racism from, from, from people in the UK. Definitely, that's the first thing that gets in your mind. You think, 
how am i going to be accepted in a new society let's be honest you you don't wake up in a society and you think oh it's just going to be milk and honey or oh, this is democracy it's a democratic society no it doesn't work like that so you expect it and everyone expects it everything that you see is nuanced everything you see is expected from people you expect people to see you different because you're different that's the truth and that's exactly what you expected and sadly for the children that's my fear too when i'm living in a foreign country because i think of myself being able to defend myself during moments like these but how about my kids that's the question the family along with several others have now left their homes for some of them their employers have helped them to find alternative accommodation miriam wishes she'd never moved into the area even when we were looking up for accommodation when we came here no one told us that this is a no go area because this place is uh, it is, has been for years um for it to come in this place but no one told us only to see it when things are happening to us yeah is here now we know there are at least seven others um that have been in this way and over the last few days i've spoken to several of those families and they've all been intimidated out of their home in similar circumstances and I remember this all dates back to just 6 weeks ago those anti immigrant posters went up on lampos in the area at the end of may and then individual families homes owned by african people that had moved to northern ireland some of them had lived there for many years and they were targeted with that spray painted x either on the front door or across the living room see some of them have lived for years a lot of years which means they know it's not new so my question to many african people watching this video is are you ready to just live all your life fearing for your life and also fearing of how you're going to be seen by society and other ifs 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 that come from your from your head window on the ground floor and then some of their homes were targeted um were damaged and um, now i was back in ballycraigie this afternoon and as i was driving by a removal pan pulled up at another home and another african family had had enough and they too were moving out and if we could take a listen to this this is voice of another victim we've called her faith and she spoke to radio ulster a short time ago i just woke up one early morning only to find one of our cars crashed we it's been so terrified because i've been in this country for almost 3 years now i've been staying at the place i've been and at one point i just had to leave home and i just had to leave, to sleep up back in the car as i was afraid i don't have any place to go to and her family their fear was so great that the car park that they chose to sleep in was next to the police station you've put questions to the police on this what have you heard back well i've asked them to confirm how many attacks have happened in this spate of attacks in valley craigy estate they were unable, unable to tell me exactly how many i asked for an interview with an officer who is across the situation they also said that they couldn't facilitate that and i've asked if the attacks have been linked to paramilitary activity and they said their inquiries were ongoing now in a statement they now you see, the police is not giving something positive here and she's saying that it is linked to a paramilitary um group that's big it grows so many african people i think you should watch out watch out for anything not i'm not trying to inside but i'm i, I mean anything that could happen anything could go wrong and i'm telling you this because a few weeks back i had an attack i think i'm just going to say it another day but i had a similar kind of like um attack but you don't need to to in silent these things need to be spoken of and you need to reach out to people who can help and the good thing is the bbc had to put it out there for everyone to watch and possibly you're going to watch again to the end of this so the team of detectives were working on the case and they were encouraging the public to come forward with any information okay peter thank you very much for that please it ladies and gentlemen i don't know what you think about this but i feel like this is something concerning it needs to be shared and it needs to be used as a point of awareness so we better be careful and i hope you're safe out there please share your opinion share what you think in the comment section below till next time i'm peacing out